Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Ohio Richlands. We're here on field 8 doing a cultivation contract. There's a couple of contracts today. Uh, you'll notice a slight difference today. We are in the 9470R from John Deere. And we've got a 50 foot tillage tool on the back. It was a trade in at the local dealer from another farmer in the area. The dealer obviously bought from him before and figured another John Deere to the to the collection wouldn't go amiss, so he gave me a phone. Uh, this was yesterday. And he said it, he could plan it out as a demo, see what I think, because it will be up for sale. But he would put it through a service first and give it a wash. Fair enough, because what I'm going to do with it today, it's going to be quite dirty. But we'll crack on with this yield, see what we think of it. And hopefully, later on today, we can give him a phone to tell them good news. for both bits of equipment. It is a good price, but I'm debating. Is there enough work for it to make it worthwhile purchasing now? But then again, is it something that's going to show up in a deal in the store later on this year, or perhaps next year before we start tilling again? It's, uh, it is a bit of a hard one. It's a nice tractor. It's got the power to do the work. It's definitely quicker. Anyway, I can clear a big field. You know, it does take time, but it is a lot quicker. Plus, it's also a bigger horsepower tractor for a bigger seeder when we come to do seeding. Uh, it, it can pull bigger equipment like the cultivator we've got on. 
um, it, just in general you can use bigger bits of equipment and with the size of some of the fields like field 8 that we do contract on um, it's kind of needed so I think I may be going for it but I'll phone the guy later on this evening and see what I'm going to do but we'll see later on the figures he's given me is about 330,000 for for both pieces. So we'll see later on and see what happens. Down in the yard here, you see some wood on the right hand side. That goes with this big flat pad we've got. This is where our new shed is going. So we had guys in today, leveled this out for me, and there should be a concrete pour tomorrow. Our caravan in the corner, our diesel drums, we're actually waiting on the diesel bond. It's not all for that little generator to power the caravan. Yeah, as I said, there's a couple of bags of concrete, and there's some wood. I don't know why there's curved wood there. Must have dropped it off by accident. But at the price of wood it is just now, you're welcome to come and take some. Just leave some cash at the caravan for me. But yeah, hopefully this build starts tomorrow. Uh, the concrete pour. I've got them to do a little bit extra. Um, we're going to have a wash bay attached to the side of the shed. So I just hope that gets done at the same time. So there is a lot happening. I'm just looking for a bigger header if it comes into the sale at any point for harvest next year because the one I've got is just a little bit too small for some of that big fields but then how big do you go? Is a bigger header going to be too big for smaller fields? Getting into places? Awkwardness? We're just going to have to take the risk and find out if it comes up in the sale and if I can afford it. Obviously we, we do have a bit of money just now but you never know what we have to purchase when we have to purchase it. So yeah, that's the plan. Get the concrete pour tomorrow, then hopefully the shed should be up the day after. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. That's the start of the yard. I have got idea for animals, I'm just not too sure where I'm going with it. But for now, there's still two more contracts to go and do. Uh, there are plowing contracts. So I'm going to go and do them, then come back. I'll get my feet up for today.
the ploughing contracts done. 7,100 and 3,900. So just over 11,000 for that two contracts. That's it for this episode. We'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.